Welcome to the channel. So today I have an unboxing and an audio setup for you guys comparing my TV to what I'm unboxing here on the channel, which it is the Visio 5.1 surround sound system compared to my TV. This TV, the audio is lackluster. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna be unboxing this box here in the channel and we are gonna set it up and then do audio comparison and then I'll let you know if it's worthwhile your money, especially for the prices that these things are going out there for. So here I have the Visual 5.1 surround sound system. It says it's optimized for 4K entertainment, Dolby Ammo, DTS. So it is six total speaker, three in the front, two on the side for surround sound and a 4.5 wireless subwoofer. So what we're gonna do here real quick is we're gonna start the unboxing and then eventually we'll get to the sound test. So uh, my daughter loves dinosaurs. So we went to Dino World right here, local by me. And I picked up this little knife. So that's what I'm gonna be using to open up the box. There's some more. Let's see how well everything is packaged inside. I'm hoping it's packaged pretty well. There's another one to the back. Put this away. Let me give you a better closer look of how everything comes in packaged. So everything is packaged nicely with this foam wrapping. Just as expected. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring the box to the floor and I'm gonna start taking everything out. So right here we have the left and right. They come nicely packaged and wrapped. So it has two rubber pads. and a mounting point in the back. So we'll put that to the side and we'll open up the other one. And there are color quarter in the back as well. One is blue and one is gray for left and right. And that's what I believe, there we go. and they're tiny. They won't take a lot of space out of your living room, bedroom, wherever you set this up. Just be careful not to break the speaker. So over here we got the main unit. Definitely will fit underneath most modern TV. Come nicely packaged. Here it is, there is two mounting points right here and there's another one 
on the other side as well. Build quality, they all feel the same. HDMI port and ARC, ARC and USB and power button right here. So we'll put that to the side. Let's see in the box, most likely it's just gonna be cords and cable for power. So I'll show you how everything comes organized real quick. Power cable, satellite cable for the speakers, HDMI, mounting clamps, remote with batteries. And cable organizers. All right. So I'll show you real quick what everything came in. So this is everything that came inside the package. So we'll go over again. We have, we have the remote, optical cable, cable organizers, HDMI, mounting, satellite cables for audio, I guess, and as well as power cable. There's two power cables. So let me see. You hear the speakers are. Go for them. So woofer. So what I'll do, I'll mount them, and then we'll do an audio test, comparing the TV to this. So it's gonna roll right there in the bottom. All right, welcome back to the channel. So it's been maybe a week since I did the unboxing, and the unboxing is the first portion of this video, and then the second portion that I'm gonna do right now is gonna be the audio test. So I have a two-year-old Samsung TV, and it's the 70Q, and we're gonna do a comparison sound between the TV and the VCO uh, surround sound system real quick here. And I'm gonna show you where I set up the back speakers. So I have one right here on top of my daughter toy bookshelf set up there and one behind this decorative plant right here. So the best placement, it's near ear level, but I set them up a little high since my daughter's, you know, um, she's three. So I set them up to a place where she cannot get to them. But you know, kids, they always find their way. So I set those up there. When you want to do is you got to just, you want to set them up slightly lower, but that's where I ended up doing them. And obviously the surround sound speaker, the main uh, sound bar, it's right below the TV. So we're gonna do a sound comparison here real quick. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with the Avatar 2, the World of Water, I think it is, trailer. And I'm gonna play a portion of it with the TV volume. And then I'm gonna go all the way to 100 on the TV. Then we're gonna switch it over to the sound bar and we're gonna compare that. And obviously you already know that sound bar is gonna sound better. And for 149, I don't fold it. It sounds crisp. I'm gonna show you the best way for me to play it, and I'm gonna show you here real quick. Is I like to play games in my free time here. It's playing games. This game right here is the Alien Isolation, and I like to play usually at night after work. Right now I'm hiding inside a vent and the way the speaker sounds it makes the alien sound steps it just makes it a little more immersive than just the tv volume 
But other than that, let's get on to the sound comparison real quick. So we're going to go back to the Avatar trailer. Okay, so we're going to start with the TV. So you go to setting here real quick and we switch it from the receiver to the TV speaker. Right there. Mm -hmm. And then you know that it's a TV when it shows you the volume number. So we're going to start at 25. And I'm going to sit around 20 feet away or so from the TV. And we're going to start it up real quick. That's 30%. You're gonna go all the way up to 100. This is a uh, 100 volume. Dad, I know you think I'm crazy. But I feel her. I hear her heartbeat. We're gonna stop it at a minute. She's so close. So what does her heartbeat sound like? That is a minute, and that was volume a hundred. Now we're gonna turn it back, start over again, and we're gonna switch it to the soundbar. Now the soundbar the way it works is there's tiny little dots on it i believe it's one to ten and that's how it works on this one there's no numerical way of telling like the tv volume so when i increase the volume if you ever had a soundbar you most likely would say receiver since mine's connected through hdmi that's how i control it so Let's start there. Okay, so now we're gonna begin the Avatar 2 trailer with the soundbar. And we're gonna start around three and a half bars, light bars on the soundbar. I believe it goes all the way to 10. We're gonna start at three for the first 20 seconds of the trailer. And we're gonna go all the way to 10 bars. And you're gonna see how loud it is. So let's begin. And it's crisp and clear. It's not like how the TV went with 100, it was distorted. Okay, we're gonna go all the way up. We're gonna start increasing that slowly. Dad, I know you think I'm crazy. That's like 50%. But I feel her. I hear her heartbeat. She's so close. That was, I believe, all the way to 100% volume that the soundbar can give. The seat was shaking and it's more volume than you ever need. So I don't think I will go above 30% in volume. It's that loud. Mighty. So, okay, so now what we're gonna do, that was the sound portion, so a minute of each. I'll see how I clip them together so you could see by side by side how it sounds. So I'll put a number, I'll name what it is, so obviously you could be able, you'll be able to tell based on the volume. So now we're gonna walk, in, walk through the remote real quick on the functions. So let's show you that real quick what you can do with the remote.
so here's the remote setup was quite easy so once you have set up that you don't have to mess a lot with this other than just use your regular Timmy remote for volume control if you have set up the way I do so there's a few things here there's your power button Bluetooth if you want to hook up any Bluetooth devices input and I believe input just switches between USB aux aux VA optical or HDMI ARC which is what I have on HDMI arc arc right so here we go so for setup is the way you want to set it up or do anything to the soundbar reset all test all speakers so you'll test your surround sound stuff like that and then uh, for effect you have your surround sound on you can turn it off vrtx on true volume that is i think it adjusts to your volume i know it lowers it and brings it up so i like to leave it on night off i believe it takes away the surround sound subwoofer in the back and then we have the levels and this is where you could adjust your left speaker your right speakers and then there we are plus or minus over here then you could adjust based how you how much you want it so if you want more dialogue on your right speaker you press this one and then plus will be over here and then eq i like to leave it on movie because it gives me the best around so once you click on it, some people like direct, but I like movie. Direct. You initiate like that. Game. Movie. Yeah, I find out movie gives me the best. So yeah, that's a little quick rundown on the remote. All right, so I hope you guys liked that little unboxing slash sound setup. It being maybe a week or so since I got the surround so the visual 5.1 surround sound system and for 149 totally recommend it totally recommend it compared to what my tv came with i've been dealing with that for two years and you know i'm not much of an audiophile kind of guy but it was time for me to invest something i didn't want to invest in such a huge tank because let's uh, let's be honest if you have kids and you have a tv and my tv here is in the living room i do have one in the bedroom but you know it's a different story the tv Literally, my daughter owns it, but I get to enjoy it when she goes to bed. But now, you know, not too loud. Now I get to enjoy it a lot better because the surround sound speaker just gives me a little bit better feeling of a movie without having to have the volume that loud, even though in her room she does not hear it. All right. Um, hope you enjoy. And uh, let me know what you guys want to see next, and I'll see if I can make it happen. Thank you, and peace out. See you next time.